Hello and welcome. Super excited to share my first video on YouTube. In this video, let's talk about GST and in particular, let's learn how to file GST R3B using Tally file. The process is same for Tally ERP 92. After watching this video, you will be able to file GST R3B by yourself. You will also understand how to account transactions in Tally. Before we jump into the topic, let's quickly recall what GST R3B is. GSTR 3B is a summary of purchases and sales. It's required to be filed once in a month, but if you have opted for QRMP scheme, then once in a quarter. Let's now get started. This video is split into four parts. In the first part, we will learn how to create purchase vouchers in Tally. The second part focuses on creation of sales vouchers. Then we will learn how to export data from Tally to a JSON file. And in the end, we'll understand how to file GST or FreeB on the GST portal. Let's say you are in Karnataka and you have purchased mobile phones from ABC Enterprises who is also in Karnataka. Other details like quantity, rate, HSN code, rate of GST, invoice number, etc. are given on the screen. Today we will create a purchase voucher for this transaction. But before that, let's create and configure certain accounts. This is a one-time work. So we don't have to repeat it every time. Let's see what accounts do we have to create. First, we have to create the seller's account, which is ABC Enterprises here. Then the purchase ledger. Let's name it as purchase local at 18%. Next, the stock item, which is mobile phone in our example. Lastly, we have to create two tax ledgers. One is central GST and the other is state GST. Let's create these accounts one after the other, starting with ABC Enterprises. For this, from the main screen of Tally, click on create, select ledger. In the ledger creation, screen in the name field enter ABC Enterprises under sundry creditors maintain balances bill by bill is set to yes select Karnataka as state registration type is set to regular enter valid GSTIN of the seller accept the creation now let's create purchase ledger from the same screen in the name field enter purchase local at 18% under purchase accounts type of ledger is set to not applicable is GST applicable select applicable select yes in set or alter GST details nature of transaction is set to purchase taxable enter 18% in the integrated tax field press enter type of supply is set to goods accept the creation with this we have completed creation and configuration of seller's account as well as purchase ledger let's now create the stock item for this from the main screen of tally click on create select stock item in the name field enter mobile phone under primary alternatively you may group this under any other category in the units field click on create enter the symbol formal name select uqc accept it in gst applicable field select applicable set or alter gst details is set to yes click on details enter applicable from here i have selected the beginning of the financial year Enter the HSN, taxability is set to taxable, set or alter tax details, select yes. In the integrated tax field, enter 18%, central tax and state tax fields would be auto filled, leave the CES field as it is, press enter, press enter once again, type of supply is set to goods, accept the creation. Now let's create tax ledgers. For this, again from the main screen of tally, click on create, select ledger, in the name field, enter central GST under duties and taxes. Type of tax is set to GST. Tax type would be central tax. Percentage of calculation 0%. Rounding method I have set it as not applicable. Alternatively, you may select any other options if you wish to accept the creation. Similarly, let's create state GST account too. And the duties and taxes. Type of tax is again GST. Ensure that the tax type is set to state tax. Other fields would be same. Accept the creation. With this, the creation and configuration process is complete. There is an alternative way to create and configure accounts in Tally, which I'll discuss shortly. Let's now create a purchase voucher. From the main screen of Tally, click on vouchers, click on purchase, then click on change mode and select item invoice. Click on the date and enter the voucher date. Enter invoice number and date of invoice. In the party account name, let's select the name of the seller. If you wish to create a new account, you can do so by selecting the option create. This will take you to the ledger creation screen. Here you may enter the relevant information and create the ledger. I have already explained the ledger creation process. Since we have already created the ledger, let's press escape and go back to the voucher creation. Here let's select the party account name. 
which is ABC Enterprises. Receipt details are optional, so I have skipped it. Accept the party details. Select the purchase ledger. If you wish to create a new purchase ledger, you may do so by selecting Create. Enter the name of the item, mobile phone. New stock item can be created by selecting the option Create. Since we have already created the stock item, let's select mobile phone. Enter the quantity, rate, amount is auto calculated. Press Enter. Select Central GST and State GST accounts. Tax components are auto computed. Accept the bill wise details. Press Yes to accept the creation of the voucher. With this, the creation of purchase voucher is complete. Let's assume you have sold mobile phones to PQR Enterprises who is also in Karnataka. Quantity, rate, invoice details are given on the screen. In order to create sales voucher for this transaction, let's now see what accounts do we have to create. First, we have to create the customer's account which is PQR Enterprises here. We have to create a sales ledger. Let's name it as sales local at 18%. You may recall that we have already created stock item and tax ledgers. Let's now create these two accounts one after the other, starting with the customer account. On the ledger creation screen, in the name field, enter PQR Enterprises under sundry debtors. Maintain balances bill by bill is set to yes. Select state as Karnataka. Registration type is set to regular. Enter valid GSTIN of the customer. Click yes to accept the creation. Next, let's create the sales ledger. From the same screen, in the name field, enter sales local at 18% under sales account. Type of ledger is set to not applicable. Is GST applicable is set to applicable. In the set or alter GST details field, select yes. Nature of transaction is set to sales taxable. Enter 18% in the integrated tax field. Accept. Type of supply is set to goods. Press yes to accept the creation. With this, creation of customer account as well as sales ledger are complete. Let's now create the sales voucher. For this, from the main screen of Tally, select vouchers, click on sales, then click on change mode and select item invoice. Invoice number is auto generated. Click on date, enter the date of sale, select party account name as PQR Enterprises. Dispatch details are optional, so I have skipped it. Accept party details, select sales ledger, select the name of the item, enter quantity, rate, amount is auto calculated, select central GST and state GST accounts, tax components are auto calculated, accept bill wise details, press yes to accept the creation of voucher. With this sales voucher, creation is complete. Click on display more reports, select GST reports, click on GSTR 3B, click on the period. If you are a monthly filer, select 1st September to 30th September. If you intend to file return for the month of September. If you are a quarterly filer, select 1st July to 30th September for the second quarter. Before we export this data to a JSON file, let's analyze this report a bit. Let's first check voucher count. Here total vouchers are 2. Number of vouchers participating in return tables are 2. Let's see what are this. First is the sale transaction. The second one is the purchase transaction we have just created. Ensure that there are no vouchers in the uncertain transactions field. If there are any, these vouchers have to be first corrected before the data is exported to a JSON file. Here there are no transactions under uncertain transactions field. So let's proceed further. Table 3.1 is about the sales transaction that we have just created. Table 4 is on eligible ITC. The data for this table is picked up from the purchase voucher that we have just created. Now let's see what is the tax payable for the tax period. Here output tax that is the tax on the sale is 50,400 and eligible ITC is 45,000. After adjusting the eligible input tax credit, the net tax payable would be 5,400. Now that we have checked this report and our analysis is complete, let's see how to export the data from tally to a JSON file. For this, click on export, select e-return, select JSON in the file format field, enter the path of the folder where you wish to save the JSON file. File name is automatically created. Press enter. Click on send. We have now successfully created the JSON file. Click on open GST portal. Click on login. Enter username, password and CAPTCHA and click on login. Click on return dashboard. Select the financial year. Here I have selected 21-22. Select the quarter if you are a quarterly filer and month if you are a monthly filer. 
Here I've selected quarter two. In the period field, select the month if you are a monthly filer and last month of the quarter if you are a quarterly filer. Click on search, click on prepare offline, click on browse and select the path of the JSON file we had earlier created and upload the file. Once the file has been successfully uploaded, ensure that the status is set to processed and that there are no errors. Click on back to file returns, select the financial year and quarter or month, select the period as applicable and click on search. Click on GSTR. 3b notice that the status is now set as not filed in the field do you want to file nil return select yes if you would like to file nil return as we are not filing nil return let's select no and click on next click on close the sales transaction that we had earlier created appears in table 3.1 purchase transaction appears in table 4 if you would like to download system generated data, click on system generated GSTR 3B. Ensure that there are no mismatches between system data and the data that we had earlier uploaded. Click on save GSTR 3B. If you would like to preview the draft data, click on preview draft GSTR 3B. Click on proceed to payment. If there is any opening balance in the cash ledger, the same would appear under cash ledger balance field. Scroll to the right. Input tax credit on our purchases would appear under credit ledger balance field. Let's scroll down. In the first field under other than reverse charge tax payable, the tax that we have to pay on our sales would be displayed. Input tax credit available appears under pay through ITC field. In the column other than reverse charge tax to be paid in cash, the balance amount of tax that is payable after adjusting the ITC will be displayed. Let's scroll to the right. Interest and late fee payable would appear under respective fields. In the utilizable cash balance field, if there is any opening balance in the cash account, the same thing would appear. If there is any tax that is to be paid in cash, the same thing would appear under additional cash required field. In order to make payment of additional cash required, let's click on create chalan. The tax that we have to pay would appear under total chalan amount field. Scroll down and select e-payment and generate chalan. In the mode of e-payment field, select net banking, select the bank through which you intend to make payment, tick the checkbox terms and conditions apply and click on make payment. Log in to the net banking site of the bank and make the payment. Once the payment is successfully made, you will get a confirmation. If you wish to view the receipt, click on view receipt. I suggest that you view the receipt in a new tab. If you would like to download the tax payment receipt, scroll down and click on download now let's switch our tab and click on continue now if you notice the tax that we have just paid would appear under utilizable cash balance field click on make payment post credit to ledger click on yes if the offset is successful you will get a confirmation click on ok click on proceed to file tick the checkbox select authorized signatory and click on file gstr 3b with evc if you wish to file gstr 3b with e-verification code Alternatively, you may file GSTR 3B using digital signature certificate by selecting the option file GSTR 3B with DSC. In this video, let's see how to file GSTR 3B with EVC. So let's click on it. A one-time password would be sent to your registered email ID as well as mobile phone number. Enter the OTP, click on verify. On successful filing of GSTR 3B, you would get a confirmation. Click on OK. Now filing of GSTR 3B is done. If you wish to download the GSTR 3B that we have just filed, click on download file GSTR 3B. Let's now log out of the portal. If you found this video interesting, hit the like button and share the video with others. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on GST. Hit the bell icon if you wish to be notified of new videos. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below and help me improve. Thank you.